how to set up Gmail and activate it to work with Google Workspace. Now that I've shown you how to verify your domain, let's go and see how we're meant to set up our Gmail so that we'll start receiving the emails through our Google Workspace in our Gmail inbox. Let's press activate Gmail. Here, start using Gmail with your domain. Basically, before we move on, let's imagine you had a domain, you verified it, and let's imagine you actually had email addresses. Basically, think of it as what Google Workspace will do, it will divert the mail coming to your email account to go to Gmail. So now let's press continue. Here, Google will prompt you to sign in with an administrator account. Now the confusion arises as to you've got a Google account, but now you've also got Google Workspace and you had to create a login details for Google Workspace. That's the administrative account. So at this moment, what we'll need to do is use another account. Let's press use another account. Provide the email address that you've created for Google Workspace. That's the administrative account that is being asked of you. Let's press next. Here you'll need to enter the password for Google Workspace Admin Access. Then press next. Welcome to your new account. Do keep in mind, this is basically you having one main Google account to manage all your Google activities and you have an account to manage Google Workspace. So therefore, read through the terms and conditions and confirm by pressing I understand. Now let's log in to our Google Workspace account. Now at this stage, for us to receive our email through Gmail, we need to update and set up MX records. Let's press set up MX records. Now it's saying start using Gmail with your domain. Let's press continue. Activate Gmail for everyone on your domain. So let's imagine with your Google workspace, you've added team members, other users. Here is where you can add users so that you can collaborate through Gmail, okay? Let's proceed with activation. In my tutorial, I'm just gonna leave that as such. To be able to update MX records, you need to modify DNS settings. Here at this stage, Google populates the popular domain name registrars. If yours is listed here, select. If not, select my domain use a different host basically whether you use this predefined settings or set up your own to be able to set up mx records the process will be the same let's press continue here what gmail wants us to do is edit mx records i'll show you how to do that using different domain name registrars. Let's imagine you were using crazy domains. Simply find your DNS settings. And here you need to add record. And it is this MX record. So basically, you point to, this is important, priority one, set to default value, which is default so smtp.google.com dot that's the information we need 
Okay. As we can see, the first here we leave empty. Priority one host name. This is the host name. Basically, what this is saying, when the mail exchange is sent on internet, smtp.google.com will handle the mail transactions. Then simply save record. This sample for crazy domains. I'll show you a different setting using Dreamhost or GoDaddy. It doesn't really matter. Let's imagine you had an email address using Dreamhost. The process would be the same. All you need to do is find the DNS settings for your domain. Let's press DNS settings and here we simply add record and here you'll have mail exchange records which is the MX record. In my example to manage custom mail records for this domain visit the, the okay manage custom MX records now at this stage this is the MX record but depending on the service provider that you're using here this is for advanced users because if you've got important email in your inbox already before you start using Gmail perhaps you want to download a backup of your email messages okay so whether you're using Dreamhost whether you're using GoDaddy all you need to do is update the MX records to be able to use the Gmail option here and then once you modify the DNS settings all you need to do is press confirm that is how you set up Gmail to work with Google Workspace for your custom domain or your domain itself